Hey guys, what's happening? Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. As you typically see with me and Chili, she is out today for one of her dust baths, one of her cage cleanings, and we have a video to make for you. And it's stemmed from questions that keep getting asked in the YouTube comments. But for any new Chinchilla owners, we wanna make sure that you realize that this channel is specifically for you. This channel is meant to help you raise your chinchilla more ethically and understand how to take care of them from every angle, such as bonding, bonding, handling them correctly, what to feed them, etc. So if that is you, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when the new videos come out every week. And today's video is going to be all about leaving your chinchilla home alone. It's an extremely common question. It's what I want to cover in this video here today. So stick around for just a second and we will be right back with that for you. All right guys, so I was down in the playpen with Chili. Obviously I am not anymore. Her fleece was done being washed. The cage was clean. It was time to bring her back upstairs, put her in the cage. She was getting like kind of quiet. so. I didn't really feel like making her sit there. She wasn't really jumping around as much, so I think she was kind of indicating that I want to go back to my cage. So behind me, she's in her cage. She went right into that nest box, and she's probably catching some Z's, taking a nap. But we still need to cover about leaving a chinchilla home alone. So I'm going to sit right here at the computer, and I want to talk about it a little bit. So number one, if you want to leave your chinchilla home alone, is you need to think to yourself how long are you going to be leaving them alone because it makes a big difference are you are we talking about leaving for one night even two nights or are we talking about like going on a vacation without them because if you're only leaving for one night really all you need to do is make sure that their water bottle is full that they have food that they have a clean cage and that the cage is structured properly and safe and that should be before you leave that needs to happen so you don't want to have any plastic in the cage that they could chew while you're gone I'm trying to like turn and look at the same time and it's not really working out very well but you also don't want um, any of the dangerous like balls that they could be inside of and overheat as long as you have had your chinchilla for a little while or even if you hadn't if you know the cage is safe if they have plenty of fresh water and they have food you can certainly leave for a night you could even leave for two in my opinion another big kicker with that though is make sure your house is climate controlled if you're gonna leave and that you trust that climate control system so like right now where I'm sitting I'm very close to the thermostat in my house and it's about 69 degrees in here on this floor where she's sitting here behind me so you want to make sure that you're comfortable with the idea that they can't overheat a lot of people will use things like a like a window unit air conditioner etc but make sure that you either trust it you know it's good to go that they won't overheat and if you have any concerns about it make sure that you're like thinking in the back of your mind that somebody needs to stop by and check in on them another thing that i like to point out when it comes to traveling versus leaving a chinchilla home alone is that it will always be better to leave them at home in their cage compared to traveling. When you travel, just the car itself can be stressful for them. An airplane would definitely be stressful to them. I think a lot of um, vets even recommend never to do that. And there's only like one airline you can use anyways, I believe will allow a chinchilla on board underneath your seat. So that is highly stressful for them. So there's always a better solution than bringing them with you which would be hopefully you know you have 15 years with a chinchilla or more of course it could be less depending on the circumstances but if you're going to own a pet for that long it's definitely in your interest to show a good friend a neighbor whoever you want to show how to do the basics with your chinchilla do that early so it's out of the way it's somebody that you trust they don't have to be the the master chinchilla whisperer or handler but they need to be able to come over give them some food, make sure their water is full, make sure your house is at the proper temperatures. If something needs changed like the bedding, that needs to be completed because if you're leaving for a week, the bedding will need cleaned 
in between. Pushing a, a bedding cleaning or a cage cleaning that long is not only gross, but it, I mean, you don't want to risk any bacteria or fungus for your chinchilla either. Plus, they would have needed a couple dust baths in that time span. So teaching somebody how to do that, how to at least get them out if need be, or if in a case of emergency, is something you need to keep in mind if you want to leave them for an ex extended period of time. With that being said, you should be considering if you should even get a chinchilla based on your travel habits. If you're gone all the time, you know, if you're a travel vlogger and you want a chinchilla, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, it, you, it's just not going to work. They'd be at home alone all the time. Somebody would always have to be taking care of them or doing something to make sure that they're going to be okay. So if you take a ton of trips that extend for those long durations, you probably just shouldn't adopt one. And if you have the random one-off trips, like probably most people do, just like a family vacation, you need to make that judgment call when you go to leave them alone. Should they go? Is it worth the risk or the stress of them traveling? How confident are you with traveling? And is there a better solution for leaving them home alone with somebody else caring for them or looking in after them? Overall, the biggest things that you have to keep in mind, again, are on that cage right behind me. They need that water bottle filled if you're going to be gone for a couple days, or if it's going to be longer, somebody needs to be coming by and filling it. The food bowl needs to be filled. They need to always have access to hay and their pellets. The bedding will need to be changed if it's an extended period. The house needs to stay cool, and you always need to think about who that trusted person is is going to be for you like who makes sense that you trust that will put your chinchilla in good hands while you are gone outside of that guys you know these one or two day trips i've taken plenty of them without having somebody stop in but again i trust my air conditioning unit in my house when i'm gone i will attach two full water bottles with um fresh water i will make sure she has tons of food tons of hay i will clean the cage the night before and I've never worried about it and I've never had a problem. But again, extended travel, completely different story. You need to plan ahead. You need to have a plan P, plan P. Wow, that would be a lot of backup plans. A plan B, and you need to make that judgment call each time on what's gonna be best and safest for your chinchilla. Really guys, that's all I got today. It's a really simple question, but it gets asked all the time, so I wanted to make sure I hit on it. Most commonly, whenever I see it online, it's people asking about leaving the chinchilla for the weekend. Go ahead, just follow those directions I just gave you. Outside of that, I don't have a lot else to share with you on the topic of leaving your chinchilla home alone for short or long durations. But me and Chili do appreciate you stopping by. I am sorry that she needed to go back in the cage for the second part of this video. But if you found this helpful at all, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me and Chili one of those thumbs up down below. Hit that notification button so you're notified on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 a.m. Central when the new videos are released. Make sure you head over to planetchinchilla.com and make sure you check out that new ebook we have released. Just click on ebook downloads once you get to planetchinchilla.com. It'll be up at the top in the main menu bar. If you are coming from the YouTube channel, you can feel free to use promo code CHINCARE50, C-H-I-N-C-A-R-E 50 at checkout for 50% off that new ebook that we just released this year. Otherwise, we will see you guys in the next video. We appreciate you. Stay safe and take care.